Well, unfortunately, today the Israeli civilian uh, population of so southern Israel continues to be on the receiving end of these barrages. I think every Israeli city in the south has been targeted by rockets fired from, from Hamas-controlled Gaza. We unfortunately had three people killed. We've had more people injured. Uh, children today, instead of going to school, are stuck in bomb shelters. But the truth is this isn't new. This has been going on in southern Israel for days, for weeks, for, for, ye for months. This so has what's, been going what's on going to happen next? What, what's, the next finally what's the next plan as far as the uh, Israeli military is concerned? We will continue to hit the Hamas military machine, to hit their command and control, to hit their missile launching sites, to hit their uh, arsenals where they store their weapons. Ultimately, Hamas has to understand, that terrorist organization must understand, that it simply cannot attack Israel's civilian population with impunity. Uh, let's move on to the, the strikes, the surgical strikes, as the Prime Minister put it just a, a short while ago. Of the 15 people killed in Gaza, do you know for sure that they are all involved in some way in the attacks against Israel? I know for a fact that we only target militants, terrorists, members of Hamas and the other organizations. I do know that unfortunately sometimes there are innocent civilians who get caught up in crossfire. We make a maximum effort uh, to avoid that. We've spent lots of money, a lot of effort, resources to try to build precision guided munitions that can be as surgical as is humanly possible. But let me ask you, is, is that effort enough? Situation. Is that effort enough when not. Reuters report but please, that... please, let me finish the sentence. Let, just, let me just ask you this. Is that effort enough when Reuters report that a pregnant woman with twins has died, an 11-month-old boy has died, uh, another child me, died of wounds sustained in a strike in Carl Yunus? I'll answer that question, but I want... shrapnel and burns injuries uh, flowing into the hospitals in Gaza. It's, that's not yes, surgical yeah, I, strikes, is it? I'd like to answer that question if you'll let me. Can I answer Go that ahead. question? Absolutely. I'd be happy to. Uh, first of all, we make a supreme effort. We make a supreme effort only to hit the target we're trying to hit. You do have cases, unfortunately, where innocent civilians are caught up in crossfire, and there's no doubt that one of the reasons that happens, and I know specifically in some of the cases that we had today and yesterday, is that you have Hamas building their military machine directly directly next to, adjacent to, or inside civilian facilities. And that makes it very difficult for us. And you know, according to international humanitarian law, for Hamas to do that, that's a war crime. You're not allowed to use civilian populations as human shields. That's against international law. So if you think about it, by shooting at Israeli civilians, and of course, as you know, Hamas makes no distinction between military Israelis and non-military. Uh, they are indiscriminately shooting their rockets into our cities, into our towns, into our rural communities. So they are committing a double war crime. They are both targeting civilians while forcing the Gaza's civilian population to be a human shield to their terrorist machine. And if you think about it, Gaza's civilians suffer just as Israel's civilians do under this brutal regime which is trying to create a Taliban-type society in Gaza. They've stamped right. out okay, all let's, independent let's, opposition let me put this with to an you. iron fist. Let me put this you to you. You have no freedom in Gaza. Given your excellent intelligence, uh, you will know precisely where civilians are around the military installations that you're talking about. And you will know that amongst those civilian populations, there are children, as we've seen already. So my question is, will you continue to target areas where you know children are? The, you're asking a difficult question, why? Because you're saying to me that if Hamas is firing rockets, trying and killing our people, because they're firing from a built-up area, we can't do anything about it. And I don't think any country, no member of the United Nations, could say, well, we can't do anything about it. We will allow you to continue to target and kill our people. In other words, we have to try in a, in a surgical, as professional as we can to hit those targets. But if you're saying to me that Israel should just sit here and take rockets because Hamas has embedded its military machine inside the civilian population, no government on this planet would accept such a solution. Uh, it's clear we have an obligation and we do aim to be as surgical as is humanly possible. I know specifically in one of the cases of a child getting killed, and it's a tragedy and we don't want to see it, but we know for a fact that it was right next to a Hamas 
military facility, and I don't know if it was our ordinance or it was Hamas's ordinance when it exploded that, uh, that led to the death of the child. I know that for a fact. I'm sure that's true in other situations okay. as well. And I would ask, I know it's very difficult to report freely from the Gaza Strip, but I would ask your reporter there, go to Hamas military facilities and see if what Mark Regev is saying is true. Okay. Because we've put we'll up on that. the website we'll certainly the Israeli do that. Mr. Regev, we're just running out of time. Want, we just... have video. All right, let me just ask you one Hamas more question because we're just running out of time. From built up areas. If those rockets, if they stop launching those rockets that you refer to, uh, will Israel desist from the airstrikes? I will put it this way. We've had a situation over the last month where for three times Hamas has initiated hostilities, targeted our civilians, rained rockets down on Israeli cities, and then they stop firing and we say, okay, we'll stop as well. And to a certain extent, that has given Hamas the initiative. The goal of this current operation is to take the initiative away from Hamas, to take the teeth out of the Hamas military machine. That's to the benefit of Israel, and the truth is that's to the benefit of Gaza's civilian population that suffers much under this brutal Hamas regime. Mark Regev, appreciate your time. Thanks very much indeed. That's Mark Regev speaking to us from Jerusalem.